so hello guys and welcome to my channel so in today's video um is about just james and lily petals so if you don't know who they are i've made a video about them in the past about two months ago a month and now now the lady is a korean lady and the guy is a kenyan man an african man they were both married before but now divorced and they had two kids together and the thing here is that there are a lot of things that have been playing out that you know i just said let me make this video because personally when they divorced i made video about them like i said my opinion i moved on one thing with me i don't like you know dwelling in a bad thing when marriage breaks especially marriage okay because marriage is a divine you know call is a divine connection as in is one institution god instituted by himself so when i see it breaks it breaks my heart frankly speaking if you understand or you have been watching me you know that i don't talk about you know marriage divorce too much once i do one or two videos about it i move on this is me for you but if it's another thing, I can make about five or ten videos out of that. This is me. But today, there are a lot of things I want us to learn from these two couples. Um, but before we go into it, if you're new to my channel, hello. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. That will be notified anytime I drop any new video. If you're not a subscriber, my people, my people, you guys are the best. Thank you guys for your support. I don't take them for granted. Thank you guys. I pray that the glory will bless and enlarge your scope. More money to your pocket in Jesus' name. So, guys, grab your popcorn. Let's dive into today's video. So, there are things that, you know, I want to talk about in this video. So, these two people, like I said, they were once married and they, you know, when they are separate ways now, they are divorced. They are no longer together. Let's look at beautiful couples together. In fact, I don't even want to go there. That's one thing I don't like making a video about divorced people because, as in, I don't know. But things that I want to talk about here is that one just James and Lily Peters um, marriage you know be by fire by force so you understand even though I love marriage but what I love is good marriage since you guys are as um, have realized that and move on your separate ways these petty things you guys are playing messy things all this thing you are doing on social media on your social media handles YouTube my dear is uncalled for it's uncalled for especially you james yes i'm going to speak to you james i'm not saying that lipeta is you know a saint or should be exonerated there are you know couple ways i know that she, you know she has forehand you know she did what she's supposed to not do but when it comes to a man ah what example are you you know setting out as a man as a man that's supposed to be the head even while divorced you are still the head of those kids like when it comes to kids life okay i know that two of you are co-parenting trying to bring in your best but you're not doing your best fr frankly speaking now what am i saying when these two people um went their separate ways when they newly divorced each other um there's one thing i always expect from a woman that you know divorce is always to play a pity party right because we know women we're emotional beings you know it's easy to draw attention to ourselves to draw people to you know start you know liking and believing what we said but one thing i so much love about this lady lily petals is that she never did that yeah she never did all this pity party kind of things that people used to do you know trying to paint and um, the other party black no now in her words and i spoke she said that both of them contributed to their you know marriage crisis both of them contributed to their divorce it was not entirely her fault and it was not entirely you know her ex fault and to me this is a rational talk this is the national stuff for you to, yeah it's the best thing you can say okay because take it or leave it even if it's the woman that contributed to the you know divorce you can't tell me that the man is perfect okay you can't tell me that he is you know a saint there are lots of things he might have done and that is normal he's a human being now i was expecting this lady to come out and start painting this guy black knowing that he's a black man you know maybe you know looking at the two tribes different you know races but she never did 
okay she never did and that is kind of got me credit for her now well, let me point out where i don't like lily what she did was the place she put out her you know keys uh, one of her child um her child um emotions out here while the girl was crying you know looking for their dad crying that the dad has left them to you know um kenya because the guy is from kenya he abandoned them personally i think that that is you know too much um exposure of privacy of the girl's privacy again that side i think that she should you know be mindful of what she put out in terms of the kids emotions so that in the future these kids will not you know like will not start disliking what you put out about them that is all now coming to this guy hey my brother eh your own weak meal i don't know they say you are coming out with receipts. I watched all the videos. I used to watch their videos and just move on. But to me, that's not receipts. That is you washing your dirty linens outside here. You know, there's no marriage without a problem. Even those ones you see that are not divorced yet, that are still, you know, up to 30 years, still counting. There was a time in their marriage, or even where times they, you know, they feel like going their separate ways, but something kept them. Now, what I'm trying to say is that you don't wash your, you know, your lini, your your dirty linens outside here, especially when you know you have kids to protect. You have the kids, you know, um, future to protect. You might be doing it thinking that you are trying to disgrace or you know bring some you know shame on your wife, but my brother. Take it or leave it. There is something that I've, you know, brought both of you together. There's something that I've connected both of you, even though you have went, um, went your separate ways, but there is a product of that connection, that is keys. Those keys, you owe them, they are your, even your own privacy and their privacy. Take it or leave it. Some people will say he, he has his life to live. The mother um, has her own life to live. The kids, they will still grow up and, and things will be fine. Now lie. See, there's some legacy our parents leave for us today that we, the kids, are enjoying. And there are some things they did that are still affecting your life. Take it or leave it. Coming out to, you know, play dirty, bringing out all those things that played out, even while you guys were um, together, whether truth or not. Uh, because at this point, I don't know whether it's true or not. Lily has not responded. And if I'm in her shoe, I'm not going to, I'm not going to respond to you. See, personally, you need to apologize to your kids. She is still your you know, baby mama, yes. She's still the mother of your children. And your first children, for that matter, I don't know. I don't know whether you have another one we don't know about. But, you know, she is still the mother of your kids. Even if she decides to move on tomorrow, like she has moved on, she has her, you know, her boyfriend now. It's not something you should start coming out to tell her. See, bros, you have your life, she has her life. You guys have your separate life now. All this thing you are doing on YouTube, you know, if I may hurt you, I will do more of those things to prepare you because you cannot control her at this point. You cannot tell her how to do, how to, you know, um, introduce her boyfriend to her kids. Now, be exemplary dad. Introduce your own girlfriend and let the girl be. Let the lady be. Frankly speaking, I'm not trying to sad Lily, you know. I don't have any even reason to do that, but I'm just being, you know, honest truth. Honest, I can be here. You get, now, it's for the sake of these kids. You know, sometimes you will say the kids they have their life, they will still be fine. Now I lie. These kids, these things, they will still use them. I, you know, against them, their peers, their friends. You know, in the school, people will still use them. You are not the first to go. You know, your separate ways. You are not the first to find yourself in this. But at least consider your children. Why do you know these things? They can use it against them. You know, against them to speak against their parents even though your parents are separated look at all your mom did whether truth or not at this point we don't even know whether they are truth or not whether you forge them or they are real okay if, if she ever did that okay maybe all these things she did are the things you didn't like and you know they led to the um, divorce right now move on you have won right okay somebody cheated on you let's even assume she did it and you know you say, I don't, I'm no longer interested. 
you have won and you have moved on so guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section remember to like comment and share and do all that good stuff i still maintain that just gentry just you know delete those videos um apologize to her kids and move on because take it or leave it in 10 years to come those kids will not like those things you talk about their mom so guys i will see you guys in my next video bye bye